Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geeky Twins and our playthrough of he Edna and Harvey's eyes, Harvey's new eyes. This is part three and we're just going to get started. Just get called into Mother Superior's office because we're the ones that have been causing all the quotation trouble and now we have to feed the cat. So, cat is named Lumpy, by the way. Lumpy. Lumpy's bowl was nicely decorated. Life as Mother Superior's pet was probably wonderful and fulfilling. Now if we press space, we can see everywhere that we need to click. Lumpy was hungry, or he was tired, or bored. It was always hard to tell with him. Ooh hmm Either there was a picture missing here, or there was one too many hooks. Is that really so hard to understand? Feed the cat! It's your cat. You feed it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Can I not grab it? I'm waiting. Okay. Uh... There really was a can of cat food in the dumb waiter. There wasn't much for Lily to mess up this time. Mm -hmm. Lumpy's bowl was not life as mother's. Stop! What on earth are you doing? Bad, Lily. Very, huh? very bad. You should really know that Lumpy doesn't eat regular cat food. Um... But you've disappointed me for the last time. Here's the recipe for the right cat food. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can also find my lunch order for today on there too. Do you understand? Uh-huh. And now, get out. I have to prepare for Dr. Marcel's arrival. I'm hoping that his new method of correcting character flaws will save me this kind of trouble in the future. Lily felt miserable. Maybe Mother Superior was right, and this character correction would make everything better. The thought made Lily <laughs> shudder. She had heard stories about Dr. Marcel. Dreadful stories. She should tell Edna the news. Dr. Marcel, you say? This confirms my worst suspicions. The doctor and I still have an old score to settle. I'm sure he's coming because of me. <sighs> Lily, I can't stay here any longer. I'm going to leave the convent and go into hiding for a while. There's just one catch. That guy Garrett, who's constantly lurking around, I think he's spying on us for Mother Superior. So long as he keeps poking his nose into everything, I can't move freely. Do you think you can find a way to keep him off me for a while? Uh-huh. Oh, Lily. You're such a gem. What would I do without you? Hmm? Lily didn't have any talent. Mother Superior only allowed her to embroider crosses and lines. But Lily could barely manage even those and often received a scolding. Hmm. So that's going to be it with that one. <laughs> Shibuya power! Shibuya power! Oh. Volcano Pananoka! Shiny rainbow Miyasake! Shing! Shing! Hmm. Oh. Shibuya power! She boy up power. <laughs> she girl, you're so clueless about trends. Just look at how you dress. Don't you know that Shibuya and only Shibuya is hot right now? Where's your glitter? Where are your Japanese accessories? Miyoroshi sparkle! Miyoroshi sparkle! Shing! Shing! Uh huh? Oh man. You're really out of it, Lily. Oh. 
Why are you gawking at my hairdo? Don't tell me you've got your eye on my original Marushu Naoki hairpin. Can you believe it, Shai? Don't believe. Just know. The warriors of light see with the power of love. Just who does she think she is? Hiroyoshi Superfrog's arch enemy Soki Nuroshi Maya Yoki Hagatsu? <laughs> Down with the dark forces! Trust in the elf magic of the glitter dust. Exactly. Everyone knows that a real Shibuya girl will only part with her hairpin if it's a real emergency. And only if facing death. Muroshi Sparkle, mystical spirit of the wolf. Mystical spirit of the wolf. Kamanokri. Shing. And anyway, <laughs> what even makes you think we'll let you have any of our personal things? You haven't launched any radical paramilitary campaigns or done anything to help destroy the state. We can't let the dark forces win. Plus, you've never helped us destroy the school. Does being warriors of the light really mean we have to destroy the school? It seems a little too hardcore to me. But Riot Girl does it too! On page 31 in volume 453, she puts one of Nagayuzu's detonators in the teacher's lounge when the dark forces kidnap Musushi Rainbow. Shibuya is cool! Miyarushi Sparkle! Wow. Got a bit of a long face there, dude. Okay. Uh huh. Garrett was already there. Lily watched how her slippery fellow student disappeared into the chapel. After him! Have here then, creepy Lily. How did it go with Mother Superior? Leave her alone, Shawnee. Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert. That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Is it asking too much to want to know why? Stop picking on her. You don't really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough for that. Exactly. She's such a good girl. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you came to the convent, it's been one strange accident after another. I uh, hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Let's see what you've got there. Shawnee. Aha! I knew it! A recipe from Mother Superior. Well, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, our sweet Lily can face the music all by herself. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. You're impossible. Well, the two are definitely... bullies, but that other guy just doesn't really care, I guess. What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The chapel didn't have a second exit. Hmm. Please stay off the slabs, okay? You're interfering with my research. Frank was completely occupied with the stone slabs. The cross looked very unstable. 
Lily thought it would make much more sense to simply place it upside down. <laughs> Lily spent a lot of time in the confession booth. Only she knew what she mumbled during those long hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. The good old confession booth. Lily had been coming here often since the self-flagellation had stopped working. Um... The carving showed a begging monk with conspicuously empty hands. But something was missing. Dignity, for example, but something else too. <laughs> huh. Wait, wait, wait. No, nothing. I thought I detected a resonance echo in the floor. And where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt. Or a hidden pool salon for Templars with outrageously hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Did they get a group discount ticket for their journey? And who was their hairstylist? There is just one answer to all these questions. The Great Church Conspiracy. And we can be certain that the evidence is buried beneath these stone slabs. If only I had the right tool to dig it up. Um, find it. Hmm. Floor slabs. Um, shh. You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I had the right tool to drill them out. Then, all I'd need to know is which slab to drill under to get my hands on the church conspiracy. If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank <laughs> said made sense. Nope. Um. Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about there, but unfortunately, most of it's secret. And without the right tool, I won't be able to uncover the secret. So either you go and get me the tool I need, or you just leave. That would be fine with me too. Uh... Shh, for a second. Oh great, if there's just been a landslide in the Templar's subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. Oh, that's not I have Benny. no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. I think I know what you want. Ah, very good. That's exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill... But such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. Oh. Damn, how am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey, Frank, Frank! Ah, what the hell? A surveillance room. That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. A surveillance room. Yeah. 
At first glance, the board didn't look very exciting, but Lily was used to making do with little. While other children unwrapped their presents at Christmas, she could find happiness in a pine needle dropped from a Christmas tree. <laughs> The cross wobbled back and forth like it was dancing. Lily briefly considered whether she should point it out to Frank, but he was busy drilling through some kind of anchoring. That's gonna fall on him. I can't go into the cafeteria because I don't have the recipe at the moment. Ah, last supper. It's a funny pig. Okay. Making progress? The heck is this? Uh. Uh, not so loud. Dr. Marcel's ears are everywhere. If you listen closely, you can even hear the wind blowing in his ear hairs. That guy is no joke. But you know the rumors, so watch out for him. He is evil. Evil. I'm sorry that I can't help you, but I can't risk Dr. Marcel finding me. You know what they say about him. It's all true. Except the story with the orangutan. I made that one up. Um. Uh, um. Before you say anything, I thought of something else. I think Garrett has a secret hiding place in the chapel. Uh, yeah, uh. a kind of listening station in the confession booth. This should prove once and for all that he's spying for Mother Superior. That would have been nice for you to tell me before. Can somehow use this knowledge against him. Uh huh. Lily actually had an idea. She would lock Garrett in his secret room. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Wait, I know. What if we locked Garrett in his secret <laughs> surveillance room? Just pretend you want to give confession, and when he's in his hiding place, wham! Our trap will snap shut on him. <sighs> Oh, don't be sad, Lily. I'm sure you'll come up with a good idea next time. But for now, let's get to work. It was my plan, so now you have to set <laughs> it in motion. Uh, I don't really like that idea. Uh, cool. So you've been working on your imitating animal voices number. You can tell me about it later, okay? <sighs> First, we have to get rid of Garrett. I'm sure he's spying for Mother Superior. Noise. Um... Wait a minute. What's that? Do you hear those noises too? Hmm. I think someone's drilling inside the chapel. <sighs> it's probably just Frank looking for evidence of a church conspiracy again. Dang! That could ruin our plans. If Garrett can't listen in on you, we won't be able to lock him in his hiding place. You have to think of something to get rid of Frank. Did you happen to find the plans for my time machine? Uh-uh. Eh, they weren't finished yet anyway. Hmm. How big is the microwave oven in the school cafeteria? Um... Ah, forget it. That won't work. And all my other ideas are a little complicated. The time machine's time not complicated. I guess the easiest thing to do would be to help him with his search. Once Frank has found what he's looking for, he'll hopefully stop drilling. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stop this episode here, and we'll pick it up in the next one. Thank you for watching.